What's up guys, Tony the Duff here. Today I'll be showing you how to get mods on your Dead by Daylight. Now first things first, this is on PC only. So if you are on console, Switch, mobile, it does not work for you. Now first things first, you guys wanna make sure you are in the Mod by Daylight Discord server. Now this will be one of the first things you guys see when you get into the Discord. Make sure you guys react to this check mark right here so you can get access to all the rest of the channels. And right here, you should go to Access Live. Please, before you react to that check mark, make sure you read the rules. There's literally only seven of them. They're not that hard. They're not that hard to follow. Please make sure you read the rules because if you do break the rules, you will be hit with a warning. And then after that warning, you will be hit with a ban depending on what rule you break. Now, once you get to Access Live, you'll see this message right here. And this is a disclaimer that, yes, you can get banned for, for messing with files in a game. Yes, you can. But in order to get access to how to mod on live servers, you have to react to this. But make sure you guys read this, all right? I get comments on every single video literally just asking me, can you get banned for this? And I say yes. And they say, can you get banned for this? Yes. I get like 1,000 on TikToks. Make sure, yes, you guys can get banned for this. The chance is kind of slim, but it's still able to happen. Now, once you read everything, you want to react to this to get access to the How to Mod Live channel. And I will say all that will be considered the first step. Now, once you head over to the How to Mod Live channel, this is what you should see. And once again, another disclaimer. Remember, this is all bannable. Following this tutorial may result in a ban, which is nobody's fault but your own. Please make sure you guys read this, all right? Now, a couple things you need before you get started. You need 65 gigabytes of free space on the drive that you're installing the unpacker and all the mods. Um, SSDs work a lot better. So if you do have one, I do recommend putting it on there. It does work on a hard drive. It just takes a lot longer when it comes to unpacking. Now, part one of this two step process is you want to download the unpacker. Now you get the unpacker launcher by clicking on this link. Make sure you install this somewhere that's easily accessible to you that you can go back to because you will be using this a lot. All right, now once you got it downloaded somewhere easily accessible that you can click on it, open it up, and the first thing you wanna do is run the unpacker. Now when the unpacker pops up, it's gonna be a little window just like this, and what you wanna do here is find your DVD install location. And if you're not sure where to find your DVD install location, what you wanna do is head over to Steam, click on Dead by Daylight, right click on it, head over to Manage, and then Browse Local Files. Now this path right above right here shows you exactly where the install location is, local disk C, program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, dead by daylight. Now you just wanna make sure that's matched up with what is up here where it says path to DVD. Once you got that good, you wanna go ahead and hit unpack. Now this is the part that depends on what you have it installed on. An SSD drive, it tends to take me about 10 to 15 minutes to unpack, but yesterday I installed it on my hard drive and it took around 30, 40 minutes to unpack. So this is all just depending on what, what, what you have it installed on. So you wanna just let this run and then come back when it says you're all good to go. Now, when your unpacker gives you this message that says done, that's how you know you're ready for the next step. Now, the next part of this is going to be launching your game unpack. Now, to launch your game unpack, what you want to do is head to that folder that you downloaded the unpacker, click on MBD launcher, and this is what should launch your game with unpack files. Now, your game should open up and look regular just as it would if you launched it from the regular DVD application. But one thing that's different now is your DVD folders are now set up to install mods. Now, one of the best places to get mods is Game Banana. The link will be in the description below to take you right to the Dead by Daylight mods and resources section of it. If not, just go to the Game Banana, search for Dead by Daylight, and you'll find it yourself. Now, over here, you can find a bunch of different mods that people in the community have created. Now, let's look for one just to install for this tutorial right now. Let's see a good one that I've used before. How about the Waluigi over Steve Harrington by Your Lord Adam? And when you come to the mod page, it'll show you who made it, who submitted it, any credits on it. It'll show you uh, some screenshots of what the mod will look like so you know what you're getting yourself into. But when you're ready to download, make sure you go down here to manual download and click on that. When you click on that, it'll take you to another page with a download right here. You want to click on this. You want to make sure you're saving the mod somewhere where it's easily accessible to you. Also, where it doesn't take a lot of space, maybe on a hard drive or a backup drive or something. Because once you start downloading a lot of mods, it's really addicting and you, you tend to download a lot of them and it takes up a lot of space. But for this example, I'm just going to be saving it on my desktop. When you download that file, it should look a little something like this. You want to open this up. WinRAR will try to get you to buy this. Uh, I'm not doing that, so I'll just hit the X. You'll see a little something like this. What you want to do is make sure you hit extract to and extract it to the place where you want to save the mod. 
One smart thing to do will probably be to make a folder entitled mods, throw all of your mods in here so that you have one set place where it's really, really easy to find them. Now, once you extract that, it should look a little something like this. You want to click on it, go to Waluigi. Now for this particular mod, it has uh, an option to change the UI and to change the actual model. We're just going to be focusing on the model right now. So what you want to do is uh, you can put this one a little bit to the left and you want to open up your install location for Dead by Daylight. Cause this is where you're going to install the files that are going to show up on the mod launcher. And once again, to go back a few steps, it's just the same thing as your local disc C, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Dead by Daylight. This is usually the one where a lot of people's install. Some years might be different from mine, but it's the exact same thing you plugged into the unpacker. Now for this one in particular, you wanna click on Dead by Daylight, go to content, and you will see that there's a characters folder just like the one that the mod has. You don't wanna put this characters inside this characters because the character folders for the mod are gonna be overwriting the ones that are in your install location. Now once you see where your characters folder is, you can go back a page over to content, drag characters right over content. Now when this pops up, you know you did it right because like I said, it's replacing the files with same files with the same names but it will be installing the mod. So what you wanna do is hit replace the files in the same destination, let that finish up, and then we can go check it out and see if it worked. Now, before we check and see if the mod worked, I just wanna to stress to you guys that not all mods start with characters, not all of them start with content, not all of them start with Dead by Daylight. Each mod is different. Some of them are the same when it comes to like how it's set up. You just put content over Dead by Daylight or characters in the content. It's all, it, you never know what you're gonna get. So I'm gonna install a different one just to make sure you guys know what I'm saying here. Now this is the mod to replace Victor with Chucky. This one comes with a text file that tells you how to install it. And as you see here, it says, simply drag the Dead by Daylight folder into the root of your DVD game. If you did it right, it should prompt to replace all. Now what I like to do, I'd like to just click on Dead by Daylight, see where it says content right here. Go over to this Dead by Daylight, see where it says content. Go back a page to where I see Dead by Daylight because I know that content is right inside of this Dead by Daylight folder. Hover this over here. And when the prompt comes up to replace the same files in the destination, that's how you know you when you did it right. So click on that. Now that that's done installing, we can go check and see if our mods work. So you want to open up your mod launcher again. Now a big mistake that a lot of people make, they just try to hit the regular Dead by Daylight icon, you do not want to do this. If you want to see your mods, you got to make sure you load MBD Launcher. I just double click on that and then the game will start to load. Now that your Dead by Daylight has loaded through the MBN Launcher, you can go over to the Survivors and double check and see if your mod actually worked. So we'll go over to Survivors right here, go over to Steve, and as you see, he is now Waluigi. And just like in the screenshots that you've seen, if you do change his sweater, or his jacket or anything it does change it to a different outfit shout out to your lord adam for making this mod and making it that fucking cool now we can go over to the killers and check the chucky mod just to make sure that worked as well go over to twins and we should see chucky instead of victor right here shout out to shinsley for making this one amazing mod right here and i know a lot of people do not like going against the twins so this makes it slightly slightly more enjoyable now this is kind of a fast and easy tutorial on how to get mods, kind of just a, a, a super simple version. Now, if you are having problems, make sure you are not afraid to ask for help. The people in this Discord are very, very kind, very, very just chill, and they are happy to help. Just ask right in general or help modding or anything. If you have any problems with anything or you want to learn more about anything, make sure you just type it in. There's usually someone always online that will help you out with whatever you're having problems with, but just do not be afraid to ask. And I hope you guys like this tutorial. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to be notified for more mod content. And once again, big shout out to the whole mod community. Everybody who set up the Discord, everybody who works on the mods. They give me content to display on YouTube. So like just big shout out to them. Link to the mod Discord, Game Banana, and everything will be in the description below. So that's where you want to get started. But for now, that's going to be it for me. I'm Tony, and I'm out.